Hello again, this is John Wilde, here to give you another look at vintage action figures. This time, we will conclude our look at the Rocky line of action figures by Phoenix Toys in 1983. I couldn't find much information about Phoenix Toys Incorporated, other than they were from Farmingdale, New Jersey, and Rocky Toys were all they ever produced. The action figures were produced for United Artists Corporation, and they were made in Hong Kong exclusively for the PAC, Phoenix Toys Incorporated, Farmingdale, New Jersey, 11735. Many times these action figures are confused with Remco's AWA wrestlers. There is a rumor that an Ivan Drago is the fifth figure in the line. I could find no evidence of this. There may be some confusion with another Rocky line of figurine erasers and paper products. On the back card of the Rocky action figures, it shows the first wave of the action figures missing Thunderlips. Thunderlips was the only character in the second wave and his card back was blank. Here's a closer look at the illustration of the action figures on the back of the card. On the back of the card in the lower half, it offered more exciting adventures for Rocky. You could collect them all, I guess. They had Rocky tattoos, Rocky transfers, Rocky heavyweight championship belt, and the Rocky Sockham playset. Hey, I wonder what that thing looked like. I guess this was produced, but I've never seen one with my own eyes. I can't believe that Marks, the makers of Rock'em Sock'em Robots, would allow such a flagrant copyright infringement. The four action figures gave Rocky a good variety of bad guys to challenge him, but it's kind of one-sided. There wasn't a Mickey Goldmill or a Polly Panino action figure produced, for reasons I really should need to explain. This lack of co-stars and the action figure line made it a difficult line to sell. The late release of the figures in 1983, almost a full year after Rocky III hit movie theaters, didn't help also. This is a fun toy line to collect. Being there is only four figures to collect, it's an achievable goal. The accessories are tough to get though. The boxing trunk elastic has gone flat. The championship belts have become quite brittle over the years. And the soft plastic on the boxing gloves rip easily. But when they are all together, they look great. Hey, let's take a closer look at them. All of the figures mint on card will be expensive. Finding them all loose with all their accessories will be challenging. But just finding them will be rewarding. Look down deep in that bin of 1980s toys at your local flea market or garage sales. There may be a Rocky waiting there for you. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, get up, you son of a... Because Mickey loves you.